Once the rocker shaft assembly has been installed, we are going to proceed with the valve lash adjustment, which is the necessary clearance between the tip of the rocker arm and valve stem tip. First, we will start by removing the starter motor from the flywheel. We proceed by installing our flywheel turning tool. We first install the tool housing and then the tool gear that will rotate the engine's flywheel. We remove the timing index plug located on the flywheel housing and insert a bolt in the flywheel housing index port. The flywheel has a locating hole that tells us when the number one and number six pistons are at the top of the stroke. We are going to use this bolt and hole to locate the TDC, or top dead center position, for the engine. We slowly turn the crankshaft in the direction of the engine rotation until the bolt drops into the locating hole in the flywheel. The number one piston is now at the top position, TDC, in the compression stroke or exhaust. We want to check that the number six cylinder exhaust valve is closing and intake is about to open. This is known as the overlap. With the engine now at TDC, we can adjust the valve lash on the intake valves for cylinders one, two, and four. With the correct size feeler gauge in between the valve stem tip and rocker arm tip, with the flat screwdriver, turn the slotted adjusting screw clockwise until there's a slight drag felt when sliding the feeler gauge between the rocker and the valve tip. Now tighten the lock nut to lock in place. Recheck the feeler gauge. It should slide in and out with a slight drag. If it is too tight or too loose, you must loosen the lock nut and readjust the screw and retighten the lock nut. We continue by adjusting the valve lash on the exhaust valves for cylinders 1, 3, and 5. This completes the TDC compression cycle side of the adjustment. We are now going to rotate the flywheel 360 degrees to finish adjusting the remaining valves. Now we adjust the valve lash on the intake valves for the cylinders 3, 5, and 6 and continue with adjusting the valve lash on the exhaust valves for cylinders 2, 4, and 6. This should complete the valve lash adjustment. Remember to always tighten the lock nuts for each rocker adjuster before moving on to the next valve. Do not forget to remove the locating bolt. Valve lash adjustment is a relatively uncomplicated procedure. Valve lash should be checked and adjusted as needed as a normal maintenance process every 1,000 to 3,000 hours after the initial adjustment.